Yes, and the floor is yours, uh, Stefan. Yep. Thanks for uh, the invitation, and uh, it's my uh, first uh, Commodore Europe uh, meeting I attend, so uh, it will be the first of uh, many, I hope. Uh, so I'll um, um, I'll be presenting today one of my uh, pet projects. It's uh, uh, Amiga related uh, because I'm a huge Amiga fan and I uh, like to tinker with it. And it's a uh, uh, dpaint.js. Dpaint.js is a uh, online image editor <clears throat> with a um, strong focus on um, uh, Amiga file formats. Uh, it's uh, open source and free, and it's uh, <clears throat> one of the things I like uh, to tinker with, and it will uh, expand in the future. And I'm just uh, presenting or, or talking about uh, how I came to uh, uh, develop this uh, tool. And uh, uh, what the uh, I think uh, at least there uh, are some pretty cool features of it that you uh, uh, <clears throat> won't easily find uh, anywhere else. Um, so yeah, um, I first started with the uh, um, Amiga a long time ago. This is my first Amiga. I still have it. It has the battle proven scars and I refuse to clean it because it uh, should look like it has been, uh, has seen some tough times and uh, it really has, but uh, and I have been, um, well, drawing and painting all my life. And of course, the uh, Commodore Amiga was uh, uh, the device that brought everything into the digital age, which uh, was a pretty huge eye-opener for me back at the time. And I guess I'm not the only one. Uh, it made a, a lasting impact. And uh, uh, I'm one of those uh, people that uh, started tinkering with the device, creating music, creating graphics, uh, starting programming. And uh, found it so uh, addictive and fun that I uh, ended up um, doing that for the rest of my life as my day job as well. So that's uh, uh, it all started with uh, this machine. And um, back in the day when I was uh, started pistoling, of course, uh, the first uh, one of the first things you bump into is uh, the Lux Paint, <clears throat> uh, the paint program of for the Amiga uh, back at the at that time. And uh, I guess I was uh, like 15 or uh, 16 years old and I started uh, pixeling the things that I uh, found interesting uh, at that time, which uh, in my case uh, wasn't cars, but uh, the other thing that I find uh, uh, 14 and 16 year old uh, interesting, which was mainly images like this. Uh, so these are made in uh, deluxe paint uh, back when I was very young. My handle was DKM and I started doing it sound and stuff like that. Uh, so that was the one of the, the first things I um, did. Uh, later on, I moved on to other topics as well. Uh, kept on using the Lux Paint, so this is one of my other uh, drawings. Um, and uh, well, you, you notice that uh, most of my work has a, a solid uh, color background, and that's just because it's uh, uh, a lot of work to uh, create uh, uh, images like that, pixel by pixel. Um, so I um, moved on, as uh, most of people, to uh, PCs and uh, uh, other stuff. Uh, but, of course, the Amiga kept uh, lingering. And um, uh, in my day job, I was working in user interface design and stuff like that, and doing some development. And I thought, OK, let's uh, do my uh, user interface uh, skills, let's reapply them to the Amiga. And I started doing uh, these uh, icons and themes for the uh, for the Amiga. This was one of the, the first one I did. It was one for the um, uh, CD32. So I uh, created the icons and stuff like that and uh, had very fun with it. Um, and then I found that uh, it's uh, not that easy to go from modern software to, um, to act to actual uh, Amiga files. So this is uh, one of the other icon sets I did. It's for uh, Coffin OS, for the, which was originally it's for the uh, uh, for the Apollo Vampire uh, accelerator card for the Amiga. And uh, this was not uh, made in uh, um, DPAIN because I had moved on. So um, this was actually made in uh, Photoshop. Uh, so this is the Photoshop file for the uh, uh, Coffin OS icons I used. Uh, by the way, I still uh, really like Photoshop, and mainly for this reason that uh, there's still some P 
people that uh, are uh, uh, loving Amiga because there's still some hints if you uh, put um, what would say was a copy. You actually can still uh, uh, select the IFF format, which is the uh, native uh, Amiga format, and when you click save, there's actually a mention of still Amiga in the the latest version of Photoshop. Do you want to platform Amiga or uh, Maya? By the way, this is just by name because the IFF exporter uh, doesn't work at all for, of Photoshop. So I don't know why it's there, but I, I love it that it's still there, even in the most recent uh, version of Photoshop with all the AI tools. Somebody still uh, loves Amiga there uh, as well. Um, so, um, but moving from a uh, modern uh, files like uh, to uh, icons prove to be pretty cumbersome. And being a software developer myself, uh, what uh, guys like us then do is we build solutions to uh, handle a certain problem. So I start building uh, an icon converter at first, uh, which was actually the uh, one of the mm. first uh, features that, uh, well, the only feature that uh, uh, D-Paint mm. <clears throat> Call that uh, back at the time uh, supported, so it was mainly uh, born as an uh, uh, internal tool uh, to um, uh, convert uh, uh, modern file formats to um, Amiga icons, which is a, a format that no other modern software still supports. So I uh, took a deep dive into the file format and I created a, a tool myself. And uh, I wanted to uh, have some uh, pretty specific uh, features uh, to speed up my uh, um, my uh, flow. For example, this is um, uh, one of the icons that uh, is in the Photoshop file, so the system icon, uh, which is uh, just a, a pin key stitched together, which works on uh, OS4, but not on a classic... Uh, uh, OS3 and 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 beyond and below. So I needed a way to uh, convert it, and uh, all the other tools that though that uh, uh, do automatic conversions, they weren't that great. Uh, for example, one of the features I really uh, wanted to have is an instant preview of uh, uh, some icons. So this is an icon with two states, and you can just uh, preview it instantly. And if you convert a PNG to a, a classic Amiga icon, you will lose the transparency and uh, and you, of course, have to uh, reduce the color. So I started adding features of uh, reducing the colors, for example, to 16 colors, and then it automatically optimizes uh, stuff, etc. And uh, the, the item I missed most in uh, other software was uh, this slider, which uh, basically sets uh, what kind of semi-transparent pixels in your modern PNG uh, should be translated to non-transparent pixels in a classic uh, Amiga. So if you uh, look at, uh, for example, on the black background, you see it uh, closely. There's now a, a white border because these pixels are uh, still um, um, displayed here and you can just adjust the slider like, okay, where does the transparency stop uh, converting uh, semi-transparent pixels to non-transparent? And you can just uh, still manually tweak some stuff until it looks uh, okay in uh, in a, here in a sixteen color mode um, on all the different types of backgrounds. So that was really the uh, the main reason why I started to create my own uh, uh, image program to do stuff like this, um, and to have a, 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 a reasonable, uh, nice flow of uh, converting. Uh, uh, mother images to uh, classic uh, uh, icons. For example, the the super classic ones, the OS three and and two, they use the uh, well mostly the um, the magical user interface uh, color. So there are some options that you can just uh, uh, apply this, and then it will adapt to that uh, uh, color scheme. And you can uh, just add some different dittering modes. So you can just uh, fiddle with it until it looks. Uh, okay enough to uh, have as a classical icon. So this is, for example, an icon that then works uh, on all Amigas, even the really old ones, like the, the 1.3s, etc. And then uh, if you uh, save it, you have an option of, uh, okay, what exactly do you want to save? It's an Amiga IFF image. Is it uh, a classic icon for um, really old Amigas or a color icon for more modern ones or a PNG icon for the 
expanded or accelerated uh, once, etc. So I was happy with it. I uh, created uh, most of my uh, icons uh, with it. It didn't look like this because it, it was still very uh, raw. Uh, but then I found I really like pixeling. So I, uh, but again, uh, my earlier work had mostly a, a solid color background just to save some time and icons are really small. So, uh, but then I thought, okay, I'm going to do a, a, a bigger work which is uh, uh, something I had an idea to uh, uh, participate in the uh, old school graphic competition of uh, revision of uh, this year. Uh, and very eagerly, I started uh, pixeling and painting in a uh, deluxe paint. And that was uh, kind of a horrible experience because uh, of course we are uh, a bit spoiled with modern tools. And if you then go back to that, uh, uh, old uh, deluxe paint experience with only one undo with no layers and stuff like that. Um, you have to be a special kind of person to still enjoy that. And uh, that person uh, turned out to be not me because I didn't enjoy that that much. So this is, by the way, the image I uh, made for um, revision, which I started uh, actually to do on the uh, Amiga. So this is uh, done on deluxe paint on the Amiga. Uh, but then I started adding details and it was just a, a horrible, horrible experience. It's, if you make a, a little mistake, then uh, okay, it's um, clearly not a, a very modern tool. So then I moved back to Photoshop, the tool that I know. Uh, but then, of course, you start missing uh, that pixel-specific uh, feature set that Deluxe Paint on the Mega has that uh, Photoshop uh doesn't have any more because if you work in a, a, a fixed um, uh, palette in, in Photoshop, uh, the index colors, you lose stuff like layers and, and things like that. And um, so I um, thought, okay, again, I'm a software developer. Let's uh, develop some software tools to uh, uh, fix my need uh, in software. So uh, this is uh, another stage. Nope. Um, so I um, started expanding um, my little um, uh, image editor that I had created to do my icons. And one of the things I really missed in, in Photoshop, and I think mostly all modern tools, is that a pixel uh, perfect preview before you put the pixel. I'll, uh, uh, also, this is the, the image. It's uh, in uh, 16 colors, so it has um, yeah, these 16 colors. And uh, for example, one of the features I like most on Deluxe Paint is that uh, if you preview it, you can uh, have a, a dual pane uh, with different zoom levels, and it has an instant um, uh, pixel preview. And what I mean by that is, uh, let's zoom to the eye so you can just have a better look. If I uh, hover over this left pane, then you see the the uh, the white pixel in preview uh, as well in the, the zoomed in version, which is something that Luxpain does, but uh, no other modern software does anymore. And that's really important if you really like to uh, uh, deep dive and, and have a, a pixel perfect that you can preview the pixel just in place before you actually click and put it. Oops. Uh, and put it actually in place. So um, things like that, uh, stupid stuff that I uh, found uh, missing. And then I started just uh, expanding and doing other stuff. For example, uh, the, the ditter brushes, if you put, um, uh, for example, I, I've selected white and this ditter brush, and then you can just uh, start painting even with a large brush, but it will remain in this uh, uh pixel pattern, which is kind of nice if you want to blend in uh, uh, two colors, etc. cetera. Uh, so I started uh, adding a feature after feature until I uh, um, was pretty happy with it. So uh, uh, this image was mainly uh, finished in um, uh, in dpaint.js, uh, which I then uh, kind of released because it was more or less um, ready enough. And uh, so uh, I added an uh, uh, Amiga-specific uh, 
uh, features like uh, uh, loading and saving of all types of Amiga uh, file formats like uh, IFF images and HAM images and whatnot. So it already could load and save all the uh, icon formats. So now I expanded it with the uh, image formats. And I added stuff, for example, you, uh, you can uh, do, um, you can directly uh, uh, open an uh, ADF image, which is an uh, Amiga uh, disk image, for example, uh, this one. And then you can uh, directly uh, open and edit uh, uh, the icons uh, uh, in it, or you can uh, directly open and edit uh, the images uh, uh, there are. This is a, a ham image, another one, a uh, low res image, etc. Uh, and save it back so it will uh, update the ADF uh, image uh, directly, which is kind of handy if you're working with Amiga specific stuff and you want to uh, directly test it on a real Amiga. You can uh, uh, directly save the ADF file on a USB stick and put it in your GoTech and load it in, um, uh, in an Amiga, which uh, really sped up the, the testing and the, the creation phase. So, um, um, so then DeepInt.js was born first initial version um and then i just uh kept on going i still uh, liked uh pixeling a lot uh so i uh started uh, doing some uh, uh demo work uh for example this is uh one of the demos i uh, uh did which is a uh, defunct which was released at uh, nova in this year happy to say it won uh, first place in the uh in the small size uh, uh competition because uh, the target was uh, uh, 64 uh, kilobyte, which is not a lot for uh, uh, a demo. Uh, so the challenge there was to actually uh, uh, create as good uh, graphics as you could get in that small uh, file size, uh, which opened another can of worms. And uh, that was one of the things that it was uh, really handy to uh, have uh, uh, created your own tools because then you can start adding features that well nobody else has because nobody else needs it and and for example one of the things was um um that it was uh quite amazing for example to if you want to achieve uh, a small file size which is uh, in this case a uh, files that uh, a file that compresses uh optimal with uh, the compression al algorithm that was used uh, uh, for this demo and it turns out that uh, it really had a large impact impact on um, uh, what uh, order you had uh, in your palette. And that's, of course, if you realize it, it's it's it makes perfect sense because uh, uh, too much noise. Uh, yes. So if you uh start uh, doing a pixel work. So this is a, let's say a pixel work and um, you start adding pixels. Uh, of course, uh, you, you know this probably that uh, the Amiga is a, a bit plane uh, format. So it, it uh, actually, it stores each bit map, which is a map of bits uh, separately in a file. And if you have a, a lot of colors, then uh, this gets split in different uh, bit planes and they get uh, saved next to each other in the file. Uh, and so the file then looked like this, which uh, doesn't compress as good. So these are all the, the, the zeros and the ones. This uh, doesn't uh, compress good because you really want to have uh, something like uh, this instead of something like this in a binary file view, which is uh, makes perfect sense, of course. But yeah, the, the human brain is not mapped to translate this uh, target image uh, to something that you uh, that you can actually use in colors. So then, and of course, the computer is uh, pretty uh, efficient in doing that. So I started adding uh, uh, really weird uh, features uh, that uh, I uh, had to use. Uh, for example, uh, if you edit the um, uh, the palette that you can choose uh, in to sort it in a file size optimal way, and then it. Uh, of course, I have to load the correct palette. Yep. And if you then sort it, it kind of uh, brute forces it uh, and says, okay, if you take this palette order, then you your file size will be like two kilobytes smaller, which is 
a huge difference in uh, if you're talking about uh, 64 kilobyte and other stuff like that. Um, running a bit over time, so I'm going to wrap up. Uh, other stuff uh, I uh, uh, added was uh, color cycling, which is a pretty cool feature of... Uh... Oops. That was uh, also used in the in the demo specifically made for that. So of, of, of course, this is a uh, uh, a technique often used by uh, uh, Amiga um, formats to uh, because uh, changing a color uh, in Amiga doesn't uh, use CPU cycles, and in this case, uh, I needed um, uh, a uh, CPU friendly uh, waiting screen because of the other effect in the demo, which this one, which is a very cool uh, uh, ham tunnel that uh, Gigabyte, that's the coder of the demo, uh, did. And it needed some pre calculation time, uh, which doesn't use CPU cycles. So that's why this screen is in front of it with the color cycling mode. Um, and then it was really handy to be able to create your own files because then you still have uh, all the stuff like the, the layering uh, and still be able to use uh, color cycling, which is uh, kind of handy if you want to create stuff like that. Um, so that's uh, the current stage. Uh, currently, uh, there's one uh, uh, feature missing, of course, uh, uh, to, well, before I can really call it the uh, uh, looks paint. Um, Clone, well, it's not really a clone, but really a modern uh, reinvention. I kind of hijacked the deep eight name, which is, of course, uh, animation, which uh, is the feature I'm currently working on now. Still a bit work of progress, but uh, so it actually um, already uh, supports uh, the uh, animation files of the Amiga, uh, for, which is the, the anim file. So this is a, uh, uh, a famous one of Don Blood of the game uh, Space Age, so that you can. Uh, this is a uh, an animation that uh, is uh, in the Amiga file format and is well work in progress. So there's not not much uh, user interface yet, but uh, the loading and saving uh, is already kind of working. So you have all the frames here, and you can just uh, well play them in a series. And the other. Uh, pixel-based uh, image format, which is still used, uh, of course, today is uh, GIF of, or GIF. So that's uh, also supported. That's a uh, wrong image. That's another image I did uh, for another demo. It was this, so yeah. So that's uh, just a, a, a GIF file. Um, so the loading and saving of uh, GIF and anim is uh, already more or less working, still some bug less to squash. Uh, which also means I have now a tool that uh, is uh, pretty good at converting uh, anim files to GIF and GIF to anim files and vice versa, which is uh, also something that uh, I guess uh, not a lot of tools uh, do. Um, yeah, so that's the current state, still a work in progress. Um, open source, so if you uh, are interested in uh, in the source, uh, it's uh, just on GitHub. And uh, to close, uh, one final uh, Commodore Amiga to circle back uh, is um, uh, to uh, still hint at uh, the legacy where all this is coming from. There is a uh, preview in the Lux Paint, which actually uh, spins up a um, embedded uh, Amiga emulator. And uh, so this auto converts your uh, image to uh, an uh, IFF file. And then it uh, loads the... Uh, uh, Amiga version, Deep in 2, where, well, my journey at least uh, started, and it uh, loads that uh, image into a uh, Lux Paint 2, so the Amiga version. So there's still uh, this, uh, don't know if it's useful, but it's just a little gimmick, uh, a hint, or uh, um, respecting your legacy, I guess it's called. So, yeah. Really one of my uh, pet projects, having a lot of fun with it, and uh, can't wait to uh, release the, uh, the animation part, so... That's great. Many, many thanks, uh, uh, Stefan. M maybe we can we can kick off the questions, but uh, I will start then uh, with some because now the, the the tool is actually online. Yeah. 
uh, we have seen that you can you have this multi-layer. Um, how 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 does it work? If you start, do you have an experience with uh, very heavy multi-layer images? Uh, do you get? Uh, then I, I suppose you have some some limitation. Then of course of the yeah yeah yeah. Of well, the memory course, of the uh, but yeah. Uh, what about the browser? Uh, is uh, do you have any recommended browser or any special settings or? Well, it, it works on any modern browser, and well, I kind of like uh, uh, web applications because I use all kind of devices, uh, just uh, whatever fits uh, uh, the need, and and online tools are just always there. But you're quite right; it's uh, very useful for uh, uh, small scale pixel work, like icons and uh, Amiga specific graphics. Uh, but it's uh, very true that if you load a, a huge uh, uh, image file. The browser is surprisingly efficient, so it, it still can load it. Uh, what's um, uh, currently still difficult because it's just not optimized is the the color reduction um, setting. So I uh, don't know if it, if I have a large image here. Let's take well the largest one, which is oh, a pretty big. Uh, uh, how big is it? Yeah, thousand something by thousand something. It's not that big, but uh, well, file size is uh, is uh, no problem, and you can still use uh, all the layers and 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 and, and copy stuff and um, uh, etc. 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 Uh, it's just that the, the color reduction is uh, pretty slow currently. So there are some limitations, but it's, uh, it's actually quite uh, useful also for doing uh, modern, huge uh, work. So, yeah, but it it's, it works uh, even, uh, I, I use it mostly on uh, my iPad actually. So it's, it works uh, quite nice. So you don't foresee any local version to be downloaded and installed for, for some specific... Uh... I don't nope. Know, functionalities. No. Nope. I really am a, a web guy. So, uh, yeah. But uh, I have people that uh, have uh, just uh, forked uh, the repository and uh, built it into an uh, Electron uh, application. So they just wrap the browser around it and just, uh, put it as a uh, desktop application. Uh, the step I will at some point take is uh, uh, move some parts, like the uh, the really. Uh, uh, compute intensive parts to a uh, web assembly, which will make it much, much, much faster. And uh, but let's just keep the the feature set or make the feature set complete first. Make sure that everything works, and then uh, we'll start uh, optimizing the hell out of it. Okay. Thank you. I don't see any questions in the chat. If any attendee has uh, some question, please unmute yourself, and you can ask the question. I will check on the Facebook page, but I don't see any questions there. Anybody? Questions for Stefan? Just unmute you. No. Okay. If not, then uh, many thanks again, Stefan. I will stop the recording.